This prophetic encouragement is from Nate Johnston and was published on November 4, 2023. It's time for full closure and reset. You are in a season of God-ordained closure and deliverance where God is reconciling and finalizing the last seven years of your life so that you can move out of waiting and into the new day. He sees the trials you have walked through, the obstacles you have faced, and the toll it has taken, and right now, He is bringing this season of your journey to a spiritual end. In a vision, I saw the Lord reading a ledger and stamping each page with the words account closed. He was settling every incoming and outgoing transaction of this seven-year season and bringing them to a close. Then I heard him say the old doors must be shut, and the new must be opened but many have been stuck in between unable to move because they have not allowed full closure to come. Many have been stuck in the darkroom of their pain rehearsing and re-watching their greatest failures and trying to relive their highlight real moments, but now it's time to leave that place and embrace the new. I heard him say, what I have ahead of will eclipse your last season's highlights and will bring healing to the pain of your greatest defeats. God is bringing closure to the wrong voices in your life, the wrong confidants, and the wrong alignments that aren't in your corner. He is healing and delivering you from betrayal's poison, manipulation and control, narcissism and abuse, slander and identity assassination. He is settling the score of the words that were spoken against you out of competition and jealousy and speaking a new declaration over your life. You will begin to feel the deep severing of ties you didn't know you had, and the untwisting of your life that has been woven around the wrong people and places God never ordained for you, or you have outgrown. God is bringing justice and recompense to what was illegally stolen and robbed from you in the last seven years and is fast-tracking what was held back or hidden from you. He is bringing closure to your Nazareth season, your wandering in and stuck season, and your season of dishonor and rejection from the place you loved but felt never loved you back. He is bringing closure to assignments and purpose that suddenly ended without warning, where the grace lifted and you have been feeling lost and trying to find your new mission blueprints. You have felt jaded and numb in times to the presence and felt far from the peace you once had, but God is right now detoxing you and causing your heart to come alive again and feel again. I heard the Lord say, I have a season of conquests ahead of you, but you won't be effective unless I first deliver you from the weariness and deep soul-sick discouragement you have been carrying. He is delivering you from the mind battles, torment, and shell shock of the last season and bringing freedom to your mind, healing to your body, and recovery to your soul. You haven't plateaued, reached your summit, or been passed by. For your days ahead are going to be better than your former, and where you felt like your race was over, you will feel a new fire in your feet to run again. In the past season, you had to hold on to him with everything because it was a season of experiencing incredible blows and being taunted by giants on all sides. But in this season, you will take down the giants that once cornered you. In this season, you faced so many battles that you lost your fight and felt like all your strength had evaporated. But soon you will wake up and feel your hair begin to grow back where it was cut, and you'll bend down and pick up your smoothed stones once again. You will feel a fight back, and strength begin to surge in your spirit, and with tears in your eyes, realize God just delivered you from the rut of defeat you were laying in. Look for the moments where I come and reset you I heard him say. You will know because you will feel like years of baggage and overheads suddenly lift. You won't wake up bombarded by worry and anxiety. You will get your sleep and dreams back. Feel like people's chatter is no longer on your radar and feel excited for the unknown and not fearful anymore. This is your hour of closure to the old and the new beginning. If this spoke to you, just know that God is doing major work in your life right now to set you up for the season ahead. Jesus is freeing you right now. He is the new door and your rescue from your past season and every assignment that waged war against you. He is your answer right now where things feel uncertain and your future where you may feel lost. You can hold on to Him and embrace Him and get total freedom. 
In the last two weeks I have seen God bring major deliverance to people who have been shipwrecked and bound, and if you felt the presence and anointing on this and want that same freedom just ask Him for it. Share below what God did as you asked Him. I removed His shoulder from the burden, His hands were freed from the baskets Psalms 81 verse 6. I pray that this season of internal rewiring and heart reset would finish its process in in you and for the old patterns and cycles to be handed over. I pray for healing and deliverance over you right now and for the power of the Spirit to rest upon you, brooding over you as you bring this season to a close. Now I prophesy for the doors to swing wide open, for the dots to connect and every single thing to line up in Jesus' name. Lord, refresh them, and set them up for the greatest go they have seen in their lives in Jesus' name. Here are some verses for this word. Philippians 1 verse 6 from the Amplified Bible I am convinced and confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will, continue to, perfect and complete it until the day of Christ Jesus, the time of his return. Joel 2 verses 25-27 from the Amplified Bible And I will compensate you for the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the creeping locust, the stripping locust, and the gnawing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You will have plenty to eat and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. And you shall know, without any doubt, that I am in the midst of Israel, to protect and bless you, and that I am the Lord your God, and there is no other, my people will never be put to shame. Psalm 81 verses 5-7 from the Amplified Bible He established it for a testimony in Joseph when he went throughout the land of Egypt. I heard the language, of one whom, I did not know, saying, I removed the burden from his shoulder, his hands were freed from the basket. You called in, the time of, trouble and I rescued you, I answered you in the secret place of thunder, I tested you at the waters of Meriba. Selah. Revelation 3 verses 7-8 from the Amplified Bible. And to the angel, divine messenger, of the church in Philadelphia write, These are the words of the Holy One, the True One, He who has the key to the house, of David, he who opens and no one will, be able to, shut, and he who shuts and no one opens, I know your deeds. See, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut, for you have a little power, and have kept my word, and have not renounced or denied my name. Here's a pray along video for this word. Heavenly Father, all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-seeing God. You have taken account of my wanderings, seen my countless sleepless nights. You've collected my shattered dreams, and you put my tears in your bottle. Thank you that your grace is enough to endure the tumultuous seven-year season, and you never left my side. Finally, the tide has shifted, and a new dawn has come. Thank you for settling all transactions and closing all doors. I let go of the basket of burdens, and I felt the release on my shoulders. I no longer have to carry the traumas and hurt of the past. Thank you for taking them out of my hands. My internal circuits were now rewired, and my heart reset. Now, I see the dots connecting. And I feel the quake and shaking as the tracks realign before me. The past season is now closed. And, I accelerate now towards the new season you prepared for me. And, thank you that you open the new door wide, and no man can shut it, Lord. As you have heard my call and come to my rescue, no one can undo your mighty work in me and my life. And, I step into the new with new life and new freedom, all made possible through the mighty works of Jesus. Amen. To support and read more prophetic words from today's featured prophet, Nate Johnston, please visit natanchristie.co.